According to my calculations, by 2045, we will have increased the, the intelligence of the human machine civilization a billion fold uh, compared to today. That's such a profound change, such a singular change, that we use this term barred from physics, uh, the singularity, to describe it. The metaphor is the event horizon around a singularity. It's hard to see beyond that because things are so transformed. Uh, but we can actually use our mental powers today to imagine certain things about the singularity. And one of the things we'll be able to do is overcome human disease and poverty and other problems. We'll introduce new problems along the way, but human life will be transformed. And if we can avoid the dangers, uh, our lives will be greatly uplifted. To date, we've heard often of man versus machine. And what you put forth is man and machine becoming one. Not only does man and machine become one, but machines is part of who we are. Mm -hmm. Uh, we are the species that creates tools, and the tools expand our reach. So first we fashioned a stick so we could reach a higher branch, and then we've extended our mental reach with our tools today, and we're going to make ultimately merge with these machines. But that, that is who we are. We are the species that transcends our limitations with our tools. We're going to merge with these machines. We have already. Even though we carry them on our belts, they are part of who we are already. But they're going to become so small that they'll be inside our bodies and brains. They'll make us smarter. Uh, according to my calculations, by 2045, we will have increased the, the intelligence of the human machine civilization a billion fold. The concepts that you present in The Singularity is Near are very big ideas that it seems to me everyone should know, not just scientists and not just technologists. What are the key concepts that you think everyone should know now? They say that war is too important to leave to the generals, and I think technology is too important to leave to the technologists, because it's going to change every facet of human life. And there are things that are happening that people are not aware of. Our whole health and biology and medicine is now under being reprogrammed, as if this was software. And that's actually not a metaphor. There is software running in our bodies, but it's out of date, and we have the means now of updating it. And now that health and medicine is an information technology, it's going to be subject to what I call the law of accelerating returns, which is that it's going to progress exponentially. Basically, biological technologies are doubling in power every year. That means that in 20 years, they'll be a million times more powerful than they are today. It's not going to happen tomorrow, but if you go out 100 years, 200 years, I mean, I think we will be largely non-biological, and uh, we'll still have the biological aspect of our lives, but the non-biological portion of our intelligence and our relationships will be so much more profound, it'll be where the action is. We're stuck with some unfortunate terminology. Artificial intelligence implies that it's not real intelligence, but it is real intelligence, and ultimately it will fully match and exceed human intelligence, and we'll put it inside ourselves to make ourselves smarter. Virtual reality is real reality. These new technologies are very powerful, and they will enable us to overcome age-old problems like poverty and disease and aging. Uh, they're, they're also going to present new problems. We already see invasions of our privacy. It used to be enough to just close the blinds in our bedroom. Now we have a thousand virtual windows in our lives, and there's all kinds of new issues that, that emerge, including profound new dangers. People really need to be aware that technology actually has the answer to overcoming human suffering, that it has been doing that. Uh, at the same time, it introduces new problems, and we have to be mindful of that. And it's not a simple system, that, a problem that we can just uh, you know, fix and then cross off our list. It's mm -hmm. going to be the major challenge that humanity faces over the next century.